Good morning, this is meteorologist J.J. Wood from the National Weather Service office in Milwaukee, Sullivan, Wisconsin, giving you an update on the winter storm that will be affecting the region um, today, Wednesday, March 23rd, into tomorrow, Thursday, March 24th. As you can see on the map, in the pink shading, there is a large area of winter storm warnings that are in effect for a good part of, Wis of the central part of Wisconsin, including the cities of La Crosse, Eau Claire, Wausau, Stevens Point, Appleton, and Green Bay. Um, there is a tier of winter weather advisories that are in effect just to the south of the winter storm warning area in parts of south central and southeast Wisconsin as well. These, these watches and warnings and advisories are all in effect generally for later today through at least tomorrow morning and into tomorrow afternoon. Here's a, the latest snowfall map that we are uh, forecasting with snow amounts across the state of Wisconsin. As you can see here in the white circle, the highest snow amounts are expected to be across central Wisconsin from just about north of La Crosse, eastward through about Stevens Point and Wausau, over towards Green Bay and the Door County area. This area will have about 12 to 15 inches of snowfall forecast. Um, I know it says 12 to 18 on the map, but we're expecting about 12 to 15 inches maximum of snowfall in this area. It'll be a heavy wet snow um, and uh, this uh, area will be the highest impacted area as far as heavy snowfall and impacts to travel. Um, as we go further north and south, the, the snowfall amounts will be much less, especially as you get towards the southern part of Wisconsin, as we'll see a period of rain and then a mix of rain, sleet, and some freezing rain as well. Um, the Madison area may only see one to two, maybe three inches of snow. Uh, the Milwaukee area may see an inch or two at the most. Um, lower amounts towards the Illinois border, higher amounts as you get further north away from the city. So again, the highest impact will be from just north of La Crosse, eastward uh, across Stevens Point and over towards the Green Bay area. In the upper left corner, we're expecting the uh, precipitation to start between about 1 and 4 p.m. this afternoon. It'll just develop over uh, the state of Wisconsin. Uh, the blue shading indicating snow, the pink indicating a mix of rain and snow and perhaps some sleet and freezing rain, and uh, all rain here in the southern part of Wisconsin. We also have some breezy conditions as well develop uh, breezy northeast winds. So we go in the upper right corner. Tonight the heaviest snow, again we're expecting from about 7 p.m. to this evening to 7 a.m. tomorrow morning across the central part of Wisconsin. This will be the, the timing for the heaviest snowfall and this will be the highest impact across the state. Um, we'll also see snow across the rest of northern Wisconsin uh, with this freezing rain and sleep mix uh, transitioning a little further south across southern Wisconsin and rain holding on in the far southern part of the state. So we get into Thursday morning in the lower left. Cold air will continue to wrap in with the system and uh, we'll see the uh, precipitation generally change in the southern part of Wisconsin from rain to a mix and then to eventually all light snow um, as we get into Thursday afternoon in the lower right portion of the screen. We we'll also have brisk in, uh, north to northeast winds, which may add uh, some blowing snow and, and drifting as well, um, in addition to the snow itself. But again, the heaviest snowfall is going to be about 7 p.m. this evening, 7 a.m. tomorrow morning across central Wisconsin. That is the highest impact. So we look at the impacts one more time. Um, we are expecting quite a bit of impact uh, from the snowfall, especially across central Wisconsin. We're expecting about a 12 to 15 inch accumulation again from about just north of La Crosse over towards Green Bay. Uh, lower amounts on either side of that as you get, go further north and, it, and as you go further south uh, from that band from central Wisconsin. Um, so a quite, a quite a wide variety of snowfall amounts expected again highest in that central part of the state. A little bit of ice accumulation and uh, some sleet accumulation may be possible as well especially in the southern part of Wisconsin um, as we go through the, uh, later today and into tonight. Um, the, the gusty north and northeast winds are also expected, so um, this may cause some blowing and drifting snow with uh, winds in that 20 to 30 mile an hour range and gusts in that 30 to 40 mile an hour range possibly. The gusts will be mainly in that 30 to maybe 35 mile an hour range at the most. Um, so uh, again, the biggest impact is just going to be from the heavy wet snow that's going to fall, especially across central Wisconsin. And once again, to recap, we're expecting a heavy wet snow, which will cause hazardous travel. 
Um, even with the low snow amounts, we were expecting some freezing rain and sleet to mix in, especially in the in the southern parts of Wisconsin, which may uh, add to the slick roads. Um, we're expecting some low visibilities and gusty northeast to north winds, which may lead to some blowing and drifting of snow. Um, so these all will impact the, the region uh, again later, later today, this afternoon, uh, through tonight and into tomorrow with the highest impact being across central Wisconsin from again about La Crosse over to about Green Bay, uh, 7 p.m. this evening to about 7 a.m. tomorrow morning with the heaviest snowfall. Uh, and please continue to monitor the latest forecast for any updates uh, as the system approaches. Thank you.